It is now time to name the 2018 AVCA Team SNAP AVCA NCAA Division I National Player of the Year. There is no question her team would not have made it here to Minnesota without the tremendous season of this pin hitter. She has been a force from the outside, winning her conference's Player of the Year award thanks to her incredible offensive and defensive performances. And when she receives her award on this stage today, she'll become just the fourth player in ABCA history to win the honor in consecutive years. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 Team Snap ABCA Division One National Player of the Year is Catherine Plummer from Stanford University. Congratulations, Catherine. Thank you so much. Are we going to need these this year? No, I cut my composure so well on the first one. I think I'm good. Okay, excellent. That's great, because I was worried about you. <laughs> but I brought them for you just in case. This year was different for you. Uh, Kevin Hamley was telling me he asked a lot more of you. Maybe people don't see it from the outside, but basically you were never to put anything over the net that didn't have high heat on it, no matter how out of system. How did you take on that challenge? Yeah, Kevin always talks about having really courageous at assistant sets for everybody. Um, and we just had to make the best out of it. Take rips off the ball, um, get people out of system, like turn the tables so they're out of system, get their setters involved. Um, I think that really worked and then allowed our block and defense to really contribute well. It's a huge honor to come back. You've been up here as freshman of the year, player of the year last year, player of the year again. You're about to cry. I'm so good. I'm okay, so good. Really good. I really, I really was concerned. That. But what does it mean to you to have your team erupt like that when you win? How much they want this for you? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, knowing that you have your team behind you is something that's like undescribable. Um, and like everybody said here, this is definitely a team award. I couldn't have done it without them. Last year was very dissatisfying for your team, even though you made it all the way here and lost in the national semifinals. How did that feed you and your team this season? Um, yeah, I said it in an interview, but losing really sucks. Um, and we didn't want to feel that again. And I think right as we got back from winter break last year, the tables turned and we were like, we're going to do everything that we can, can to get back here and have a different outcome. And we're looking forward to playing tomorrow night. When you have this much attention on you as you have the last couple of years, what does it mean to you to have your team try to take some of that attention off of you and let you just be Catherine? Yeah, um, it's awesome because we have so many weapons and I didn't know I didn't have to do it alone. Um, and I never had to do it alone. The team's always been there. But this year we definitely had a lot more contribution and I think that as a whole collective Stanford volleyball program, I think we just excelled in every aspect. But I mean as a person, too, they take that pressure off of you. Yes, definitely. Um, like I said before, Stanford is an amazing place, and everyone's expected to do well, but that's what we signed up for. Um, and my team just does an awesome job of just having me be a person and a friend. Okay, now it's coming. <laughs> you want to talk about something else? Because we can have a conversation about your parents if you want. Um, if anyone knows my parents, they know they're the life of the party, <laughs> anywhere they go. <laughs> well, congratulations. I didn't mean to make you cry, yes, but okay. you're the player of the year yes. again. Thank you so much. Thank you.